Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're going to be starting a little series here. Um, the next uh, few questions of, the day, questions of the day are all going to be about this. Um, we're talking about writing equations of lines. So if you've got no experience with the coordinate plane, um, lines and points and graphs, XY graphs, uh, that's what I'm talking about there. You are going to be in trouble when you go to take your GED because it is a favorite. Now, the good news is it's not that hard. The bad news is it is very foreign. So if you've never seen it before, you're going to be feeling a little lost. But I want to sh start showing you just how simple this is. So first thing this says is write the equation of a line. They're asking me to write an equation. So remember what an equation is, it's one mathematical expression set equal to another mathematical expression. So I'm looking for something with an equal sign basically. And then they tell me how to write the equation of a line. They say in slope intercept form. Well, ding, 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 uh, just a warning guys, this is on your GED formula sheet. You don't have to have the slope intercept uh, form of the equation of a line memorized. It is on the formula sheet you get when you're taking your GED. So if you look at it, uh, look it up, it's on the bottom third um, of that uh, formula sheet. And you're going to see that it says this, y equals mx plus b. And if you're new to algebra, this might look really scary to you. You're like, too many letters, I don't know what to do. Well, don't worry. We don't have to do too much with the letters. Turns out all we have to do is replace two of the letters. So let's just write this down. The formula y equals mx plus b. This is the slope intercept form of any line. This is generic. See with all the letters in there? It's uh, totally generic. I don't know it as a specific line yet. If you want to turn it from a generic slope intercept form, like this describes any line, into a specific uh, line, then you are going to need to replace the m and the b with numbers. So I'm just going to take a little bit of note of that. So just give me a second here. So to turn this into a, any specific line, replace M and B with numeric values, with numbers. Okay, that being said now, M and B have a special meaning. So, you know, I always joke around that mathematicians are not super creative, <laughs> and it's mostly a joke, um, but at least in naming things, they aren't creative, because we call this the slope-intercept form of a line for a reason, and that's because these two letters, M and B, tell us two things. They tell us the slope and the y-intercept of our line. In fact, that's what M stands for, so you need to know this. You have to know that that M represents the slope of a line, how steep it is. And that B represents the y-intercept of our line, where our line crosses the y-axis. The y-intercept is where our line crosses the y-axis. Now, they've been so nice to me in this particular problem. Look at the information they've given me. They tell you that your line has a slope of two-thirds. Well, guess what? Slope is M. So they just told you your M. And they said it has a y-intercept of 1. Well, we said that the B is the y-intercept. So they've also told you your B. So all you have to do in this problem, this is a very, very simple one, is replace the M with the number they told you. Replace the B with the number they told you. So here we go. Let's try it. We'll have Y equals. What is our M, our slope? Well, they said our slope was two-thirds, so I'll write two-thirds right there. I'll shove it up against X. And now we have a, a Y-intercept of positive one, and so I'll just write plus one. And it seriously is that easy. I'm done. You might say, Kate, well, I don't know how to do this math. No, you're not supposed to do anything with this math. All you were doing was writing an equation. You just wrote it. There it is. That's an equation of a line. I wrote it. I'm done. <laughs> um, so we kind of got to stop overthinking this. Now, can these problems get more complex than this? Yes, absolutely. They could give you other things than what you need instead of giving you the M, the slope, and the B, the y-intercept, outright. 
they could give you other information and make you try to find what you need. And we'll be seeing that in the next few days. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.